here in i button and description box below you will get complete playlist of laplace transform uh, and <clears throat> here we are going to solve a problem which is from the topic inverse laplace transform basically uh, i would uh, like to show you something that is from video number 19 okay from video number 19 to video number yes that is 30 we are solving various problems on the topic inverse laplace transform all these questions are very 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 important i would i would suggest you i would request you to solve each and every problem okay and that too in this sequence only in this sequence only so that you will get very good uh, command over this topic okay and over this all these questions out of all these questions this question number 27 is most important problem okay other questions are also very important but this is the most important problem okay so let us start with the problem welcome to video number 28 and in this video we are going to solve 10th problem on the topic that is inverse laplace transform this is one of the uh, different type of question where you can see log okay so let us try to solve this problem in video number 28 and 29 we are going to solve two problems that is problem number 10 and 11 based on this log okay so you should watch all uh, both videos to get a very good knowledge about this type of questions okay so let us start with the problem that is solve or evaluate inverse laplace transform of log s plus 3 upon s plus 2 okay the question is find the inverse laplace transform of log s plus 3 upon s plus 2 okay this is my f bar of s so let f bar of s equals to log of s plus 3 upon s plus 2 now we know that log a upon b can be written as log a minus log b so this can be written as log of s plus 3 minus log of s plus 2 okay yes whenever you see log uh, log form you need to differentiate okay we need to differentiate every time whenever you see log type of questions okay this type of question that is log form so differentiating with respect to s okay differentiating with respect to s on both the sides on both the sides with respect to s okay then we will get this will become yes that is d upon ds of f bar of s okay d upon ds of this is f bar of s and this will become differentiation of log s plus 3 with respect to s will be 1 upon s plus 3 okay similarly minus sign as it is differentiation of log s plus 2 with respect to s will be 1 upon s plus 2 okay yes now we are going to take inverse La uh, inverse laplace transform on both the sides then you will get you will have inverse laplace transform of d upon ds of f bar of s okay equals to inverse laplace transform of this part that is 1 upon s plus 3 similarly you have minus n as it is inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s plus 2 now we will see what is the derivative property okay because of this d upon ds we should apply derivative property okay yes that is inverse laplace properties of inverse laplace transform okay yes inverse laplace transform of d upon ds of f bar of s what it is that is yeah it is equals to minus t into f of t okay inverse laplace transform of d upon ds of f bar of s that is equals to minus t into f of t this is what this is my derivative property we are going to apply this yes okay so inverse laplace transform of d upon ds into f uh, d upon ds of f bar of s can be written as minus t into f of t just now we have seen that formula that is the, the property okay okay now inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s plus 3 okay what is the formula for this yeah we have seen in the formula part of inverse laplace transform yeah that is second uh, formula okay and what it is inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s minus a equals to e to the power at okay remember this is s minus a minus a okay and here we have a in the coefficient of t okay in the coefficient i mean in the coefficient of t which is in the exponential part okay so inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s minus a equals to e to the power 18 yeah so here you can see inverse laplace transform 1 upon s plus 3 and the value of a is how much minus 3 okay minus 3 so e to the power this this will be e to the power minus 3t minus and as it is again inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s plus 2 again you can see the value of a is how much minus 2 okay so this will be e to the power minus 2t okay because of uh, take this negative sign to the right hand side this will uh, this will become first term and this will become 
second turn okay now taking this t to the right hand side okay so you will get e to the power minus 2t minus e to the power minus 3t upon t and this is what this is my f of t and this is my final answer okay thank you thank you so much for watching this video